Today in this video, we are gonna go over the cost of living in the Manhattan, Kansas area and what you can expect when you get here. Rental prices, average home sale prices, uh, a cup of coffee, I don't care what it is, we're here for you guys as the consumer and we wanna make sure that we are here to look out for you and so that you know exactly what you're looking for. And if you stay till the very end, we'll give you an extra tidbit that you can expect once you see Manhattan in person. What's going on everybody? Kyle Powers here with Haven Real Estate Group at Keller Williams One Legacy Partners. K-State grad, turned contractor, turned real estate agent and investor. First off, I wanna say thank you very much for checking out our channel, I do appreciate it. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, go and hit that little bell so you get notified of any future content and give us that like because it helps us out with our channel. So we're gonna jump right into it. We're gonna go over the living in Manhattan part and what you can expect on rental prices. In Manhattan, when you are renting, we're gonna go just based on a four bedroom house in Manhattan, what you can kind of expect is an average, it's an average median price range of about $1,400 a month of what you can expect on rentals. To give you some comparison, Manhattan is sitting at about $1,400 a month for a four bedroom house. Looking at Kansas City versus Manhattan, Kansas City, a four bedroom house, you are typically gonna get about $1,600 a month. And then looking at Denver versus Manhattan, you can expect about $2,600. That's $2,600 a month on a four bedroom house in Denver, Colorado. Going off of everything, looking at it that way, 20% down, 20% uh, down a 30 year loan on an average of about 3.25% interest rate, just to kind of give you a ballpark, what that looks like payment wise is $1,232 a month. So that's actually less money per month that you can actually put down and actually get equity in your home for when you do decide to move out and things there. You're gonna tell me, Kyle, I am a VA buyer. Kyle, I'm a first time home buyer. I can only put down 5%. Kyle, I don't have any money. I need to use USDA loans. That's perfectly fine. Get a hold of me and I can work out those numbers and see. And I'm, I'm not saying that 1400 is the only number that you're looking at, but if you're looking at the, about that four bedroom house, we can definitely get you something close to below that $1,400 a month and actually work towards getting that and actually having equity once you actually move out of your home. Something to kind of put into perspective too, whenever you buy or rent, whichever you're looking at, you're gonna look at about an average utility cost of about $140 to anywhere from $232. So that's a good range, and that's including winters, summers, fall, spring. Obviously some people are gonna shut their, in Kansas, you can actually shut your AC off and actually shut your heat off in those fall and spring months. Uh, just because it's nice and cool out and you're actually going to use some stuff and open the windows, air out the house, those kinds of things. So your average range is about $140 to $232 a month for your average utility. Now, with that, it, let's say you're going to use internet, okay, because most people here are streaming and obviously if you're working from home now, you definitely want to be paying attention to what your internet cost is going to be. We do have some areas that have fiber optic internet that you can utilize that. That range are anywhere from $60 to $120 a month. Just depends on what, who you use, how much speed you need, everything in between there. Big one, if you've got kids, which if you're buying a four bedroom house or renting a four bedroom house, if you've got kids, your average childcare, this is a big one for me and, and my wife and I, uh, one thing that we didn't expect whenever we were looking at it is how much childcare was gonna cost. Obviously it's different in different areas, but in Manhattan, if you're going to a, um, if you're going to a, you know, a institution or like a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this term lightly, a professional childcare facility. Uh, there's churches here in town that have childcare. There's a couple of um, big academies that have a couple different branches here in town. You're gonna look anywhere an average of 900 to $1,100 a month of what you're looking at for childcare. I know we were looking at uh, my son's childcare when we've moved him around a couple of times, just kind of where he's at and what we like. And he's about that 900 to thousand dollar range of what we look at for him. Then you can kind of flip to the other side and go to an in-home daycare. I'm gonna say your average in-home daycare, you're about 700 to $800 a month. So it's a little bit less, but you're getting that smaller groups, smaller uh, people, more one-on-one -on -one time with them. 
Um, so it may be, maybe that's what you like versus, uh, versus an institutional daycare. Uh, but you're looking anywhere from $700 to $800 a month on childcare that you can kind of expect when you get here. Gas prices in Manhattan. Uh, gas prices in Manhattan, obviously they fluctuate just like the rest of the country. I don't know any different anymore because we've been in it so long, but I just filled up and I want to say it was anywhere from 230 to 250 a gallon is kind of what you what it was right now. We got pretty darn close to below $2 a gallon uh, here earlier this year. Uh, but I also, one of the things that I do to kind of quote unquote hack that, uh, my wife and I shop at a, a local grocery store, uh, Dillon's, but they also have uh, gas prices, gas points, if you will. And you can get, sometimes you can get your price per gallon. Uh, I, this is a big grocery bill month, so I guess it outweighs the other part of it. But we got our gas bill, or yeah, our gas bill per gallon down below a dollar because we had so many grocery points that we're going to have. So there's a hack for you that you can kind of expect here in town. Uh, and that's Dylan's. And I know High V actually does something similar to that. Uh, so definitely look at those and see which one's better for you and your family. Okay, taxes, what you can kind of expect, income tax rate on what you're bringing in a month. Typically you're about 5.7% 5, 5 is what you can kind of expect on that. Our sales tax, I will tell you, our sales tax in Manhattan is a little bit higher, but that covers Riley County, Kansas, and then obviously the city of Manhattan. But our sales tax is about 8.9% on sales tax. So just kind of expect that. I know it's a little higher than some of the areas that I've been watching. Uh, but definitely not terrible, um, just comes with the cost of living here in Manhattan. All right, so kind of going into your household in, or household expenses, what you can kind of expect. Milk, you're looking at about two, $2.76 a gallon, uh, kind of go on that one. Bread, you're about $2.26 per loaf, uh, kind of expect those. Eggs, you're looking at about $2.59 a dozen, and then apples, for about a pound of apples, you're looking at about $2.75. So ranging anywhere from that two to three dollar range for those items, that just kind of gives you a ballpark what you can kind of expect versus where you're coming from. Um, I know that obviously shipping it out to Hawaii is gonna be a lot more expensive than growing it here in, in the region. Uh, but just kind of go on those lines and it's not bad. Obviously, I will, full disclosure, I don't do the shopping in my house. My wife, bless her soul, does all the shopping for us and she takes care of all that stuff for us. And, she does a very good job about budgeting and things there, but um, that's kind of what we expect on groceries, just to kind of give you a ballpark of what to look at once you are looking to move here, kind of give you kind of a cost analysis wherever you're coming from. Okay, kind of the fun stuff, what you can kind of expect, uh, eating out, restaurants, things like that. Uh, my wife and I usually have a date night once or twice a week. We want to try, uh, sorry, once or twice a month. Um, try for weekly, doesn't always happen, is what it is. Uh, we can kind of expect a good date night. If you're just going out for, for dinner, you can kind of expect a range of $40 to $75 for the night. Obviously, dinner, drinks, desserts, all that stuff, you're probably looking about that $75 to $100 uh, a, a date night. Uh, that's for two people, obviously. Uh, so not terrible. Um, and again, you can range anywhere from going to McDonald's and eat, and you're going to be well below that average. Or you can go to some of our local restaurants, and if you do, check out one of those videos. Might put a tag in the in the video here, but check out our restaurants here in town. Definitely enjoy those ones as well. And obviously, eating local is really enjoyable to us. Uh, but you're looking about that with dinner, drinks, desserts. Uh, you're typically about seventy-five to hundred dollars a night on on one date night. Going to that, uh, I don't know what it is in other other areas, other parts of the country. Obviously, traveling, we kind of we see kind of inflation on that one. Um, uh, just a medium black cup of coffee, you're looking at about two dollars and fifty cents on average. Usually, there's a couple of places here in town that are less than that. Uh, that's for coffee, and then obviously, if you want to go a little bit stronger for beer, uh, just a pint of beer, you're about your average about three dollars a pint. Uh, and again, that can go anywhere down to two dollars. Yes, they have happy hours still, uh, but down to $2 a pint to up to anywhere from $5, depending on what kind of beer you're drinking. But I would say your average obviously is right around $3 a pint. Let's go to average income. What you can kind of expect for the average household, two person income household, you're looking about 75 to $100,000 a year. Uh, the average salary here in Manhattan sits right around that $50,000 mark. So obviously putting that in anywhere between 75 to 100 for two people. And you get that quite a bit and you can live pretty comfortably here in town as long depending on what your other debt is, I guess. But living pretty comfortably here in town for that 75 to $100,000 a year price range. 
we can obviously find you a nice home in the area that fits the budget as well. But that's kind of what you can expect is about that for single family, you're about $50,000. Uh, then double income family, you're probably 75 to 100,000. Obviously there's more than that. You can get more money than that depending on what job you've got. Uh, but definitely something to kind of expect whenever you move to this area. Guys, I appreciate you checking out our video. If you do have any questions about buying a house, selling a house, renting a house, anything along those lines, reach out to us. We're here to help. I really do appreciate it and I really do enjoy what we do. Uh, if you do have any questions, my phone number is 785-477-5485. My email is kyle at homesforsalemhk.com. And if you do have any questions, please reach out to us. And again, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go and hit that little bell so you get notified of any future content and give us that like because it helps us out with our channel. Really do appreciate you guys checking out the channel. I'll see you in the next one.